I took a look at what the COP26 Green Zone had to offer for the construction industry in its journey to a net zero economy and found great insights from JCB on how hydrogen powered mobile equipment could be part of the answer. Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. This episode looks at a new development from JCB, which looks to offer a solution to the demanding need for green growth in the construction industry, which has a reputation for being a high carbon emitting sector and is very conservative about new technology, especially in competitive and price conscious projects. Hydrogen could be the answer for this demanding sector. It can be generated sustainably from renewable energy, such as solar and wind power, and has one valuable property over traditional fuels such as diesel, since its combustion products are water rather than CO2. So, you know, this is JCB equipment. We've got two iconic JCBs here. You know, the, the, the Lodo, this sort of equipment is used on construction sites um, all around the world and, and farms as well. So it's, you know, it's a really uh, adaptable type of machine. And this is the iconic backhoe loader which you see in cities all around the world and really flexible machines. And at JCB, uh, for a number of years really, we've been pursuing a, a low carbon technical strategy, which generally is driven by efficiency systems on, you know, get, making all the power delivery systems on the machine more efficient. And then some years ago, we embarked on machine electrification and uh, we, we launched the world's first fully electric excavator um, around three years ago now, an award-winning product and it, it's a one-ton class excavator. Um, and that was the first of what we now have is seven fully electrified products. What we've learned during that journey is that electrification is it, splendid. It really is. It's, it, it's great in many respects. And yet that there are some fairly significant hurdles into widespread deployment. One is scaling it as the machines become heavier. So our electric machines, the most heavy um, electric machines we've got presently, about four tons. Um, and as the machines get heavier, typically they do more duty, more hours in the working day, and therefore the energy content required on the machine gets larger. And electrification becomes a really significant problem. One, the bulk of, of the, the, the battery packs. Two is the size of the battery packs. And, and three is the, is the cost and then four which is probably the killer would be the, the time it takes to recharge the electric machine so some of these machines this sort of construction equipment can be in series um, you know production series uh, environment and consequently there isn't the time to recharge a high amount of electrical energy you know if it's 50 60 70 kilo hours that takes serious electrical power and it takes a seriously long time to do it and plainly the machines cost. So the, the, the battery machines, unfortunately, have been significantly more expensive than the, than the diesel machines that we sell. So a number of years now, we've been working on hydrogen propulsion. Hydrogen works. Hydrogen is great as a fuel for deploying to um, wherever the job site is, whether it's a farm or a construction site or a quarry, you know, wherever a JCB piece of kit is being used, you need to get the energy to it. So getting the fuel to it is, is obviously custom and practice with diesel, but hydrogen can be that way as well, where you take the hydrogen fuel to where the machine's operating. And what's more, it can be refueled really quickly. So, you know, the, the refueling point on, on this, this machine is here. It's a straightforward business. And in a matter of minutes, you know, the machine can replenish its full energy content and, and, uh, uh, and it, it's a way so it's a straightforward business to refuel and uh, and in fact you know the, the 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 fuel as i say quickly replenishes in the machine now 
in the early stage of our hydrogen programs, we're working on hydrogen fuel cells. Um, we've got fuel cell heavy excavators that they're in the public domain. Um, they're not ready for the market, and, and, and we believe that, that there's some years before they could be ready for the market. But there are some fairly significant technical impediments to delivering a product that's robust in, in a, you know, a dirty construction environment. You know, the, the, the fragility of the fuel cell and the tolerance of the contamination, dust and all that sort of stuff that happens in quarries. And only in the last year or so, in a determination to get to you know, zero carbon, you know, the mindset is that the fuel's the problem and, and we really need to use, you know, move to a hydrogen fuel. Um, I think for the, the last year or so, we, we, we had a bit of a breakthrough where we looked for the first time at hydrogen combustion. Now that needed, a, you know, a substantial redesign of, of the combustion system on the engine. You know, we've gone for a, a very, very clean and very efficient engine. So this isn't just a, a rework of an existing diesel product. All the power delivery hardware at the bottom end of the, of, of the engine is, is really, you know, common territory. But the combustion system and all the services that, that feed the combustion system, air preparation, gas preparation, ignition, um, are really new. And, you know, really, uh, we have to speak to specialists all across the world to get the very best technology into this engine. But the outset is that we've got a real robust deployment of hydrogen fuel. In, in this technology. So, you know, the JCB hydrogen motor that's in this unit, or indeed in, in, in the Lodo machine across here, is um, safe territory in that it's really robust, high performance, fits where the, uh, you know, the, the Oak Power unit came out. And what is really significant is that it, it's not inflationary. We could see it as a really rapid, robust deployment and moving to a non-carbon based fuel, you know, in the fairly near future, you know, in, in, in a, on a, you know, a year or so, we should have, you know, trial machines with customers and moving with this. So, you know, that's, that's our hydrogen journey so far with JCB. So to summarize, hydrogen, especially from sustainable sources, can offer a powerful net zero alternative to traditional diesel powered equipment, including a comparable rapid refuelling option for the demand cycles on construction projects over alternative electric powered equipment. In our journey from a carbon based economy, hydrogen will have a place in making our immediate transition to net zero and is likely to have a longer term future. Certainly, it is rewarding to see the developments that JCB have made and continue to make in this direction. Further information on this episode is given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. Whilst you're there, please leave a comment in the box below if this video has helped you. If this video has helped to advance your understanding of the role of hydrogen in powering the construction sector, please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right. And to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Click on the link to the left. Thank you.